For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. This is the way. Greetings, Hakamoto community. This is Oscar D. And I'm here today to um, share something with you guys. Um, I was doing my administrative duties and um, checking through my emails and um, I saw one that stuck out to me and I felt like I had to come on here and address it properly. Um, I'm not going to say who it was from, but we're going to get right into the situation. Um, I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys as titled clarity and closure. So, this is in regards to the incident that happened last week where I had a gentleman to come on to the show and um, things kind of went left. So in order to put this, th put this thing to bed, I have to be transparent about it and be completely honest. So how this came about, Man, I had been watching videos of this gentleman, Mr. Wilson, for months now. Um, I was watching him and and I was fascinated with his his tactics. I saw him in a bunch of debates and he was debating atheists and degenerates and people that that claim the title Christian but their whole belief system is 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 full of fallacies that are totally against blatantly against God's God's word blatantly against holy scriptures and I had become a fan of this guy's work um so my intentions were genuine in this. I had been watching him on one of his, his lives and he was talking to a young man who who's a Christian and, and they were having a little debate about it. And the guy had a problem with him going on these other people's platforms that are not Christian platforms and saying that by going on those platforms, it's not helping, you know, the body of Christ. And Mr. Wilson, you know, was, was kind to the guy and everything, but he was telling them, Hey, you have to go into the trenches. And I agree with that. You can't shy away from that. The, the degenerates are the ones that need to hear the message. They're the ones that, need to hear the, the good news. Um, so he was saying to the guy, he was like, man, I don't care how big or small your platform is. I have no problem with helping people out and, and doing what I can to help. We need you. And I was like, man, that's, that's very kind to him. And light bulb went off in my head and I had to, I had to think about it and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should send this guy an email because he seems, you know, very, very down to earth and like he's he's willing to work with us in some type of way. So me being the person that that's part of the team that that wants, you know, I'm I'm all about trying to trying to create growth. You know, marketing. I, you know, I came from that background with the entertainment promoting myself, promoting things. So I'm just thinking this would be a great thing, you know, for this guy to come and teach this message that is, because I'm hearing this guy talk about the nuclear family, how, you know, really talking about how we need to do things as far as what God says. And I'm like, wow, he could come on if he's willing and share that information 
And you know that that could be the start of something great. So I sent him an email and nice long email. And um, I prayed about it and I was like, you know, hopefully he'll respond. I really didn't get a response, but I realized he's busy. He was touring. He was going around from show to show. And um, I saw him live again. And someone in his comments were saying that they wanted him to come on their podcast. And he was like, well, you can just send me a tweet. So the light bulb went off again. And I said, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to send this guy a tweet. So I sent him a tweet, same information from the email. I just copied and pasted it because it was the same message. And he, he responded the next morning. And he was, he was like, man, I'd be glad to do that. Like, and I'm like, wow, man, this is, this is such a blessing. I'm all excited and everything. I'm like, man, this guy, you know, I'm telling my wife, I'm so excited about it. And I, I tell doc about it. And, you know, doc doesn't know him at all. So, but doc trusts me, you know? And so he's like, fired up. Let's do it, man. You know, doc is, doc is very down earth and, and, and easy going. Like, great human being. And so I'm, I'm getting it all set up. I'm thinking, I'm like, when, you know, when can we make this happen? So I talked to Mr. Wilson and he, he says that, you know, he was busy at the time, but he said, contact me next week after I get back from doing it and, and we can uh set something up. So I, you know, I contact him. I give him, I give him a chance. We, you know, we were talking a little bit back and forth, very, very kind, very kind in the messaging and everything. It was great. And all of a sudden, you know, it, he contacts me and he's like, are you available tonight? And it, it you know, it kind of caught me off guard, but I'm like panicking. I'm like, oh my goodness, let me get in contact with doc. So I, I contact doc and I'm like, Hey man, he wants to know if we can, if we can just pod with him tonight, man. And doc was like, man, I, I'm, I'm actually headed out of town. I got to do something with the wife. And I'm like, oh man. So I'm like, I reach back to, to Mr. Wilson and I'm like, Hey man, is it any way we can do it tomorrow? Uh, you know, and, and Mr. Wilson just being honest, he's like, man, my, my schedule is pretty busy. I, you know, I got a lot of people that I'm booking with and I just wanted to make sure I got you you guys out of the way, you know, make sure I take care of you guys. Cause I got a lot of people and I'm like, wow, man, but I'm pressured. Cause I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I reach back out to, to doc and doc's like, Hey man, hold it down. He was like, you can do it. He was like, man, do it. Cause I didn't want to, cause I, I wanted him to be a part of it. Um, but, but I was like, okay. And so I reached back to him and I was like, yeah, you know, uh, I, it'll just be me and you, you know? And, and, um, so he was like, um, okay, cool. What time? And I told him what time it was. And, and, um, I set up the thing and sent him the link. And, um, and I remember about an hour before, um, we went live, he was live and he was talking to his audience and he was telling them, yeah, I'm about to be, uh, out of here in about 45 minutes. I got, um, some people's podcast. I need to go on. Um, I don't know. I don't know who they are, but I'm interested in seeing what they got to say. And like, it, it was, it was real cool. He was, he was promoting it, you know? And I'm like, wow, man, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Cause I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a fan. I was, a, you know, a fan of what he's, what he was doing, man. Like, and, and I'll get more into it in a moment, but yeah, you know, so it, it comes down the countdown and, uh, <laughs> man, I'm sitting here and, um, he pops up and I'm so used to people flaking. He didn't, he didn't flake at all. He he came in and he was like, Hey man, um, he was telling me on here, he was like, just take me off stage. And, uh, when you're ready, bring me back. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I'm, and I'm sitting here and I'm like, 
I, 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 I'm live on here and, and I'm trying to get it together and I'm like, man, I'm nervous. But I, you know, I, I had a few questions I wanted to ask him, but my intention, honestly, was to just have him come on here and talk. I just wanted him to pretty much say who he is, what his mission is, and give some wisdom. That's all. And that's what I told him. I wanted him to come on and share wisdom, you know, with, with us. That's all I asked. I didn't, it wasn't supposed to be a, a like an interview or anything. It was just, he's just going to come on and talk. And yeah, I had a few questions for him and I asked those questions, you know, just basic. Who, who are you? Um, what do you plan on doing? I, I admired the, 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 um, how he and his wife operates because she's a, she's a really great debater. And, and, and like she, you know, they, they stand united with, with their views. And, and, and I admired that. And, um, so we start getting into the, to the show and it, everything's cool. Everything's cool. And, and like I said, my intentions was just to have him come on and share some game, share some wisdom, man. Cause I'm like, man, this guy's really out here in the trenches doing this thing. And I'm like, you know, I wanted to see if we had, if we could coexist. Um, so what happened was is over time, I guess his audience, because he told me, he was like, I'm going to have you live on my show. I'm going to have the show live on my show, on my channel so that they can watch and listen. Cause that's what he usually does. He'll have the people on, on his channel while he's on their stuff. So, I mean, and it, and it, it helps out the audience. It helps the other people out because you're like, sh he's sharing his audience with you, you know? And that can give you a lot of notoriety, you know, at the end of the day. But, um, they, I guess they, they kind of got bored with it because they're so used to, if you look at his interviews, he doesn't have interviews like what we were having. It's usually somebody on there that doesn't agree with anything that he, he believes. And usually those are people that want to be contentious with him. They, they want to debate him. They want to, they want to try to make him look bad. That's not, that was not my thing at all. I'm trying to get wisdom. So I guess they got a little bored with it. So they decided they wanted to start sending like super chats to him. And he, he was like, is, you know, is it okay if I read? Cause he was like, I got a few super chats directed at you. So he told, he said it on there. He was like, he read one that where they were pretty much saying this is boring. And, um, they want to see pretty much blood because he's a blood sport debater. So they wanted him to rip me apart, pretty much. They wanted it to be a contention between us. So, you know, he was saying, he was like, man, this we're having a nice conversation. This is a chill, this is a chill day, and you know, this and that. And and I'm I'm in my in my mind, and I'm thinking, I'm like, thank goodness, because I I mean, I'm I'm no debater. And I'm not in the I'm not in the condition to debate. I mean, what is is it to really debate about at the moment? Not what my mind is. So I notice all of a sudden, because he's very intelligent, very intelligent. So instead of just going for the jugular, he decides to question me. And it's cool. It just caught me off guard. I'm if anybody was supposed to be doing conducting an interview, it, it would have been me. But that isn't even what I was intending to do. But he starts questioning me and digging and, and you know, pushing me. And I'll be honest, he wasn't pushing hard because I've seen him go and just destroy people. He did he didn't do that. He didn't he didn't viciously attack me, but he used subtle tactics. He's been doing this for a long time. He's great at it. 
So he knew exactly how to deal with me. He could tell, yeah, this guy's a little naive. He's, he seems to be fascinated with what I do. He's complimenting me. He's complimenting me like five times since we've been on here. Oh, yeah, I got him. Yeah, he's an idiot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm about to press him. I'm about, to, I'm about to make him sweat. So he started questioning me, and I had no answers. Because, I, honestly, I was caught off guard. That caught me off guard because it's like, wow, man, I just wanted to get some wisdom from you. And now you're challenging my whole belief. Like, you're asking me, how do I know that God exists? Hmm? And, I'm, and I'm in my mind, I'm like, whoa. Oh, why, 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 how did we get here? Like, what? So I'm just being, I'm just being blindsided by all these questions and I'm just, just not answering them. I'm just not able to, to, to get my feet planted at all. I'm just getting destroyed here. Just gently destroyed. I have no answers. I'm stumbling over my words and this is the reason why this is the main reason why I'm I'm doing this video. I had someone email and and when when I read it 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 cut me to the heart with conviction because they were absolutely right. You know, but I have to explain why. They were like, well, I I I felt uncomfortable because it was so much profanity being used by Mr. Wilson and, and Oscar was just laughing and like, you know, it was like, he, he didn't, why didn't he, why didn't he, you know, check that? Well, let me explain to you why I didn't play language police. For one, I just did not want a conflict. That, that wasn't what I was here for. And it, it, it's difficult to try to tell an adult that knows better how to talk. Now, watching his, his content, he uses a lot of profanity. But I gave him too much credit. I didn't think he'd come on here and do that. Most of the time, when, what he's on, what I've seen him on, is not Christian-based programming so everybody on there they just use profanity anyway i i figured that maybe he would he would have enough respect even though he doesn't know us i figured he'd have enough respect for us to not come on here and use f-bombs and and all type of profane language but he didn't and i allowed it on my watch and, and i apologize to you guys that had to listen to that. Trust me, I wasn't comfortable with it either. The reason why I was actually laughing was to mask the discomfort and the disappointment and also a little bit of anger. Cause I felt like, I felt like, oh, you know, he, 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 I allowed, I allowed this man to come in, in my house and he just, I, I asked him to take his shoes off at the door. He didn't. And he, took his muddy shoes and just grinded them in my couch. <laughs> like Rick James, you know, that's how it felt. But I had to do, I had to take, look at the bigger picture and not cause conflict. And I had to control myself. I really had to maintain my composure because people that actually know me personally, and know me, know my past, they know that that would have been a different situation. I would have, I definitely would have tried to language police him and it would have turned into something that would have been very, very, very bad reflecting on, on, on this, this programming. Thank God almighty that he has delivered me from that and he has brought me peace. But that's what it took. I, I really had to maintain my composure. And throughout that, some compelled me to just, some said, just allow him to be exposed. Just allow him to do that. 
allow him to, to show not only his audience, but our audience and anybody else that can watch that they can see that this is someone that calls themselves a Christian and how they conduct themselves. And I, I, I've never, I've never intended to attack him and I'm not attacking him now. I mean, we all, we all sin. We, we are all sinful by nature. This flesh wicked uh, whose flesh isn't wicked, but there's a certain way that you must conduct yourself and call yourself a Christian. And that's a fact. And it's in scripture. Um, I wasn't about to argue with him. I'm not doing any arguing. I just don't have it in me. And I just didn't want to be contentious at all in any fashion. I didn't want to get those people what they wanted because that's what they wanted to see. I didn't want to put on a show. I didn't want it to be clips so they can be put out to say, well, look at this. Look at this idiot acting, acting out this way with him. And he's just mad because of this. Nope. I'm not doing it. And, and I have to take a, accountability and say that, yeah, me being naive and, and wanting it to be something great. And that's on me. That's on me. And again, I apologize for you guys having to bear witness to that atrocity. Um, I left that, inter that we can call it an interview now. I left that situation after we got off. I had this glooming feeling of disappointment. It was just just lingering the gloom on me. I, I, I felt very disappointed. I felt embarrassed. Um, I looked like a complete idiot. You know, and I thank God that some of you guys were able to see and say, well, you know, you handled yourself well. Yeah, it's just disappointing when you think about what, what could have been done different. And it was so many things that I could have done different. And, you know, for, for a minute, I, I wished I could have gotten that time back, but you can't. You have to move forward. And I have to say this, saying all this, I'm not upset with that man. He 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 was he was pretty upset with the outcome because you know after Doc saw it because I, after it was over I messaged Doc and I said man I got my behind handed to me on this thing he was like what and I was like yeah man he he started kind of poking at me and and I wasn't able to to defend myself in any type of way I, I you know I looked like a fool on him. And he was like, okay, let me take a look at it. So he looked at it and, and he wasn't happy with that. He saw something and that's when he felt like he wasn't angry. He wasn't angry with, with uh, Mr. Wilson he, and he's still not angry with him. But he felt like the things that were being said was false. It was, it was against our belief. I couldn't defend it, but he can. And that's why he issued the challenge. And, you know, one thing led to another and people started attacking and, and, you know, we, we started discussing it on the, on the following day. And of course people, I guess that came over, they, they came in and they, they told him and he jumped in the comments and, but, it, but by that time he was, Mr. Wilson was being very disrespectful name calling and all that stuff. So, you know, it just, it just, it's just escalated into something that it shouldn't have been. And, um, you know, since then we, we're just, honestly, we're dusting our feet off and moving forward. So I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, what really happened. It wasn't a, it wasn't any type of setup. I don't even, I, you know, it definitely wasn't on our end. And I don't believe that he, I mean, he doesn't even know us. So why would he set us up? 
So I don't think it was a setup. I think it was a big misunderstanding. But at the same time, there's a way that we should c- conduct ourselves. And as a as one that 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 says that they are a Christian, man, we have to conduct ourselves better. We cannot have a foul potty mouth and be nasty towards people and just calling all type of vicious names. When you, when you when you have no evidence of certain things, like you can't you can't do that, man. But at the end of the day, the weight has been taken off of me. That 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 gloomy feeling. God is so good, guys. God is so wonderful. And blessings are just coming. And the Lord is going to continue to bless us as long as we seek his face. Uh, I think I've said enough. And um, until next time, guys. Matter of fact, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.